Praise be Jesus Christ. I just finished reading a little book on St. Vincent de Paul. It's called The Holiness of Vincent de Paul by Jacques de la Rue. It's out of print and you're probably not going to be able to find it. Sorry. Um, St. Vincent de Paul one day as a young priest was celebrating Mass and someone came into the sacristy and said, Father, there's an awful situation. There's a family. The whole family is sick. They're in their home. They can't help one another. What do we do? Father celebrated his mass and in the homily told the people, hey, we have a tough situation. We got to help these people. We're Christian. This is what we do. And a whole crowd of people went to help the family after mass. And St. Vincent de Paul realized like this isn't the solution, you know, to help this family for one day um, isn't much of a help. They're going to need uh, help for many days. And then there's other families, they need help too. And that's when he began to organize people to help. The poor and the rest is history saint vincent de paul has had a huge impact in the church throughout the world in inspiring and organizing people to help the poor now some real cool quotes from this book on um saint vincent de paul's genius or his wisdom it says vincent thought he was simply responding to the needs of the moment as providence showed them to him. It says, all this came about imperceptibly. His great achievements did not begin and then very modestly until he was about 40. Vincent always seemed to wait for events to speak before he began to move. Sometimes he made others impatient. Yet it was not merely human prudence, but an attitude of faith, which made him so careful before throwing himself into a task, he wanted to be sure that God really did want to make use of him to carry it out. He was the instrument. He had no desire to encroach on providence. And St. Vincent de Paul talks a lot about providence. Goes on to say, and this is, this is a quote from St. Vincent de Paul. Look on these things as they are, the works of God, entrusted to us by God without our having taken a single step towards them ourselves. He goes on to say, God's business is done little by little, and his spirit is neither violent nor tempestuous. We must abandon ourselves to God's providence and take great care not to run on ahead of it. The works of God achieve themselves, and those that are not his soon perish. Rest assured of the truth of the saying that seems paradoxical, that he who is in a hurry delays the things of God. And to me, St. Vincent de Paul, he's kind of like Moses. Like Moses led the people out of slavery to the, the, the land of, of milk and honey, the promised land. But it wasn't Moses' idea. He was just walking along one day and, and he saw the Lord in the burning bush. And St. Vincent de Paul says the same, like, we didn't go looking for this. God led us to this, and it's his work. And that's why it was so important for St. Vincent de Paul, just like Moses, to let God lead. You remember when Moses was at the Red Sea, the Pharaoh was coming with his chariots. The, the, the chosen people, they all thought they were dead. There was, there was no way out. And Moses, you remember what Moses said? He said, do not be afraid. Stand your ground and see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you'll never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You have only to keep still. And that was St. Vincent de Paul's approach. Like, let's not try to figure this out. Let's not try to, to, to do things on our own. Let God lead. Wait and see what he's doing. And when we see what he's doing, when it's clear to us, then respond. Because why would we want to do things on our own terms when our good Lord wants to lead himself? And if we can be docile enough to the Holy Spirit, like St. Vincent de Paul was, to let the Lord lead, then great things will happen. Viva Cristore!